Hey, how's it going? Reese here. I wanted to record a quick video to talk about the real reason of why the traditional agency, advertising agency model is failing um, really in 2023. And when I say that, the truth is it's been this way for a while. Um, and it's been something that I spoke about a lot on my, on my uh, profile on Facebook, where, where I post most of my content, but I wanted to make a video about it because I think it's so vital um, that really I get this out to the, the larger majority of people. So essentially, I've got the concept here on the screen. Uh, if you're new to the channel, the way that I do these videos, I'm going to go over the base concept of everything, and then I'm going to explore it in more detail throughout the rest of the video. So really, what I wanted, want you to do right now is picture a full funnel process of cold, warm, and hot buyers. Um, and throughout this perspective, I'm really looking at the service at every side and why um, there's such a mismatch between the offer that people are representing, saying, hey, we'll help you achieve this result, versus the actual service delivery that's being provided and then the results that's coming from that. So again, I want you to look at this full funnel process of cold, warm and hot buyers. And obviously this is for your client, your clients, their prospective purchases, uh, customers, clients, whatever it would be. So the only thing that advertising actually does, if you offer advertising as a service, the only thing that advertising actually does is get traffic. Uh, but the problem with that is many advertising agencies actually sell business growth. They will say, hey, we, uh, you know, we will get you 30 new patients for your cosmetic surgery. Or they will say, we'll get you 25 new members every month for your gym. Uh, these, by the way, are, are great sounding offers. They all sound great. But the mismatch, again, is, is what actually happens on the service delivery side. The offer sounds great. But when you look at the service delivery and you see that what the agency is doing is just running some ads on Facebook, you will recognize that if we're being honest with ourselves, the only thing that they're actually doing is getting traffic, just expensive, maybe quality, but expensive pricey traffic to a website. And you will only know when you've actually run a business yourself and actually run ads for your own business, that's when you will realize the things that I'm sharing with you today. We spend quite a bit of money on advertising every month uh, for our own agency, so I can, I can put this data across to you and, and say that you really only internalize this information when you've actually done it yourself. And the problem again is that we are sending loads of traffic to a website and just kind of hoping for the best when it comes to most advertising agencies. Um, so again, the only thing that you can really 100% guarantee is traffic. You can't say that we're going to get you patients. You can't say that we're going to get you leads. You can't even say that we're going to get you um, real quotes. Let's just say you're working with a business that deal with quotes. You can't really do that. You can just kind of say, hey, we're going to get you traffic. Um, now, if we compare this to really lead gen agencies that do the advertising, have a landing page, and also some type of appointment setting, um, this will allow the agency to have more control over the results that the client is getting because obviously they control more of the process. And I'll, visual, I'll put this into a visual format in a second to show you really what I'm, what I'm getting across here. Um, and then the last point that I just want to make, uh, again, giving you the core, core concepts before I go into more detail, is that agency gurus, uh, these you know, the big guys used to say, hey, you need to be a master in one service. But I entirely disagree with that. Um, and I believe that you should be a master in solving one specific problem. Because if you be can become a master in solving that one specific problem, that's going to connect with the market way more. Because obviously they have the problem, you have the solution, as opposed to they have a problem and you have advertising that's not a solution that's just advertising so let me put this into visual form of what we're talking about here so i've got funnelytics open i just created this here for the video and again what i want you guys to look at is you're going to run some ads let's say you've got facebook let's say also you've got maybe like google maybe even you've got like TikTok. If you're like, hey, I know TikTok is killing it right now. Uh, let me run TikTok ads instead of Facebook. I mean, you're all going to run into the same issue. And the reason for that is because these ads, and I'll stay with TikTok, they need somewhere to go. And if you decide to, you know, say, well, the client already has a website. So let me send it to their website. I mean, cool. Okay, let's do that, right? So the client has the website, you've got your ads here, and you're going to send the ad traffic to the client website. This is traffic. This is all you're doing right now is providing traffic to their website. And the problem with this is again, you're only sending traffic. You don't have any control of what happens once they land on the website, okay? So the first point that I'm making here is if you want to do traffic, you need to at least 
have some say over what happens on the website. Because if you are, well, if you're saying to them, hey, we're gonna get you traffic, high quality traffic on your website, great, killer offer, not a killer offer, but whatever, that's your offer. Um, and you're gonna get them traffic, okay? That's what you're doing right now when you're only running ads. Let's say that you run ads to their website, but then you consult them on how to improve their website and re improve their website conversion rate optimization. If you do that, then you now can say that you can actually get them closer to a sell. If this is an e-com store, then you can say that you're getting them closer to a sell because you're gonna help them improve their conversion rate optimization, um, not only get quality traffic, but also improve their website for them and you know help them make more sales. And then obviously this can go multiple ways. Um, so that was an e-com example. Let me use a local lead gen based business example. Um, if you're dealing with dentists, then you've got the traffic for the dentist, but you need to help them create a website or at least a landing page. Now, obviously the most ideal scenario here is not that we're gonna consult them, but well, we're gonna actually create this landing page together. So I'm gonna say agency landing page, because this is, you're gonna create this, the agency ads, you're gonna create the ads, you're also gonna create the landing page. And then maybe another maybe another page, like whatever. I, I don't really care how your um, how your 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 you know your website's gonna look. That's not relevant to this video. But let's just say that you've got okay. So there's a landing page that people land on, and you know that that's a, that's a form. Let's just say there's a form on this page, and then they can go and they can book their appointment if it's a if it's a if it's a dentist or something where somebody books an appointment. The other scenario is let's say that it's a business where they, um, where it's like quotes, like home improvement companies. They don't really do like appointments as such. They maybe do quotes. Sometimes they'll do like an in-person consultation, but usually it's like a phone back or something like that. Um, in that case, that will be happening here instead. And then of course, what the business has to do now is let's get that step out of the way. Let's just say that they have to contact the, the person. Um, so let's say that they actually have to make a call, right? They need to go ahead and let's see if we can use a call function here. Um, they need to go and they need to contact the lead and they need to give them a phone call and they need to say, hey, uh, we saw that you filled out our, our website, um, a form on our website, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for, like, there you go, it's a phone, that will do. So again, if this is an e-com store, let me just quickly wrap up the e-com store. If this is an e-com store, what you wanna try and do is um, at least, well, you're gonna be running the ads, you wanna consult them on their website at minimum, and then potentially even help them repackage their products, not in terms of the actual packaging, but in terms of the way that communicating and selling the product. Um, and then again, if you're doing e-com, what you could do is you can also help them out with potentially email, whether this is done for you or consulting, that's entirely up to you. Um, you can do email and then you can also do SMS. So essentially what's gonna happen is somebody's gonna see the ad for the e-com store, they're gonna to go to the website, they are then going to hopefully make a purchase, or at minimum they're gonna join the email uh, and the SMS and you can have your flows going on there. And again, coming back to the local lead gen based scenario, in that scenario you have the traffic, you have the landing page that you have created. So if it's not consulting this time, you have created the landing page. It's a little bit more challenging to actually create an e-com store. Um, whereas like for a local lead gen business, it's or an online business that requires like a landing page, pretty simple. So you're gonna have the traffic to the landing page and then the email and the SMS you control, or at least you consult on. And then the phone, either you can do, if you have an appointment center in the agency, or you have the, um, you, you consult the client. So essentially what I'm saying here is if we wanna sum everything up, you need to look at every step of the funnel from the traffic to the lead generation to then like booking the call. And then obviously lastly is the purchase. And the idea is that everything that we do, we wanna to get to the purchase. And whatever it takes to get the purchase, you know, you can deal with. Uh, and when I say you can deal with, I mean you as the agency, you're either gonna consult the person, the, the client, you're either gonna consult the client or do it yourself. And when you're able to do that, you can actually guarantee the results that you're getting. And this is why people are confident enough to say, hey, we'll guarantee you X amount of results or we'll give you a refund. And um, when you're running a guarantee like this, you need to make sure that you can actually provide the result. If you're only doing the advertising, you only have traffic, okay?
make sure that I'm trying to make sure I drill this in really really hard um, again let me just quickly outline because I know people watching this you're probably either going to be an e-com or you're going to do uh, another online based business or service based business again if you're an e-com do the traffic yourself the landing page either create the landing page or do the consulting for the landing page it's probably going to be easier in your scenario if you do the consulting here you can still do a done for you email or sms or you can do the consulting here so this this would be more like a done with you program as in as opposed to entirely done for you if you are operating a uh, online if you basically sell uh, online serv uh, sorry service local service based businesses then what you would do in that scenario is that you have the traffic you can have the landing page that you create if the website if the client already has a website then you can just like kind of say hey you know what you keep to the website we're going to create you a landing page for the ads that we run and then what that's going to allow is that you've got control over the the ads control over the landing page and then potentially you're going to set them up a nurture flow which will uh, have the objective of whatever the final result is let's say the final result is again if you're a home improvement if you serve home improvement businesses then maybe they want quotes or in-person consultations and then what you're going to do is you're going to have a email or an sms nurture sequence which is set with the intention of getting somebody to to make a purchase or in this case uh, schedule quote purchase whatever it is i hope this is all making sense um, I'm going to wrap the video up in a minute, but before I do that, I just want to summarize once more what I'm talking about here. Um, because if we look again here at the process of the full funnel of cold, warm, and hot buyers, traffic only is going to like um, deal with the, the cold approach. I mean, you can retarget, obviously, but it's just going to get you an audience. And the audience is still going to be pretty cold here. Here you're going to warm them up. Warm them up. You're going to collect that information. Um, if you're working with local-based businesses, then you can have like a lead magnet, or you know, tell them to fill out a form. If they are landing on a e-com site, then you can have them fill out a form for a discount, so they can then join the email on the SMS list, and that's going to make them a little bit warmer. The SMS of the email, this works both for e-com or local-based businesses, doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, you can have your nurture sequence here, or your email flows, SMS flows, whatever you want to call it. And then if necessary, obviously direct people to a phone call or to the end result, whichever it is. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, this isn't complicated stuff. It's also not difficult. What I want you to, and I've saved this here for the last part of the video for those that are actually paying attention, which is that if you have the traffic, you have the landing page, everything else here, the only bit that you actually have to do on a monthly basis is change up the ads, and then maybe like if you're doing phone calls, then maybe they have somebody do the phone calls. The landing page you set up once and then you don't touch it again unless you're optimizing it. The only reason that you would touch this landing page once you've created it is to optimize it and hopefully further improve the results, which is obviously going to make life will make your life better you're going to get better results so there's an incentive for doing that but um it's not something that you have to do often you're not going to be doing this you're not going to change this very often one time you create it and then you just make subtle tweaks the email the sms flows again if you're working with local based businesses then you're not really going to change this too much for every client that you have you just copy and paste the flows you change it up based on the actual business that you're working with and their specific results or whatever it is that you want to showcase in the email and sms or their goal that they have um but again like the email and the sms flows are going to stay the same you're going to set them up once and the only time that you're going to change them is if you need to tweak something if something isn't performing to the kpis that you set from what you expect from this you can go ahead and you make the changes if you're only doing the advertising you don't have any control over this entire section of the process so really you're only doing one thing um, and again a lot of people recommended become a master in the service but this was three five years ago when it was actually okay to say hey i'm an advertising agency and then people were interested in that because it was still very very new it's not new anymore if you want to start booking more meetings signing more clients and making more money and actually getting good results for your clients which is the most important part here you need to make sure that you actually a master in providing the result in this case you're not a master necessarily in the advertising you're not a master in in creating the landing page or nurture sequences you're the master, you're the, the pro, the expert at actually getting the end result, whether that's more schedules for a consultation, more quotes for a uh, bar from remodeling, more purchases on the e-com store, whatever it is, 
but you've got to make sure that you are controlling as much as this process as possible. That is the only way that you as a marketer can actually guarantee the results. Hope that all makes sense. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. If you've got any questions, comment down below. It's the most important one. If you are an agency owner who's looking for more help actually improving your offer, improving your service delivery system, um, so you can scale the agency, book a consistent flow of meetings, and automate your fulfillment and processes, what I'm going to urge you to do is go down to the description below this video or the first comment, have a um, click the click the link. There's a little video about what it is that I do, how it is that I work with agencies, how it is that I help them. I would highly, highly recommend that you go ahead and check that out uh, if you are looking to get some help. If not, continue enjoying the free content. But if you do want one-on-one -on -one help, um, go ahead, watch the video, see what it is we do, book a call with me if you're interested, um, and then we'll take things from there. Until then, I'll see you again in the next video.